All right. It's my Anchor Wizard. Low profile one. I got it off of Amazon. I was able to find one that just came with this. And some mounting hardware. I'll show you how. I'm going to attach the carabiner to it by sewing some Power Pro. And some heat shrink tubing. I already have some power pro threaded on. I like to use threaded lines. Got the sewing. Works nice. To make a loop. <coughs> and I'm going to sew it. That's what I like to do. Make whatever size loop I want. And start sewing. I like to wrap and sew. greatest of this. As you can already tell. I just keep doing it. Just more clean, especially when it's gonna go inside something like it is here. So what I'm doing is just Pulling it through, wrapping it around. It's so much cleaner and it's just easier to work with on kayaks. Nothing to snag on your line or your net. Or in this case, your anchor. There's some rats now and then. myself in the hand. Let's see how sharp it is. These are sharp. Then all I'm gonna do pull my heat shrink tubing down over all this. And I could have used black but I decided to use red. Let me just heat it up. Just like that. Look at this. Just put this through there. I've never used an anchor wizard, so see it goes right up in there. Don't have to worry about it. anything. I'm excited to try this out tomorrow. Oops, there it is. We'll mount it tomorrow. Alright, now we're gonna mount this sucker. I'm not mine on my Hobie PA12 here, and I'm gonna mount it. I've decided facing this way. That way I can see what's going on with this when I reel it up. I'm gonna use an anchor wizard. I mean a anchor trolley for mine. So I'm not too concerned. The only thing I'm concerned about is the is the rope gonna get hung up in this. But I think it'll be I don't think it'll be okay. So I went ahead and drilled some holes where I'm gonna put some extra stuff. I just put these on here. This one in the place. And up the holes I drilled. Tighten it down. And 
run these through. I'm going to take one of these. Slide it on there. Put my bolt, my nut on. There you go. Same thing over here. Back when I was making my Jackson kayak anchor trolley, I guess I bought extra of these V-cleats, round stand. These are good ones. It's made in Australia, not the USA, but not made in China. Like those other crap ones I was just trying to use. So we're going to try this bad boy. I'm going to put it this way, I think. And then just, it'll work no matter which side I'm using it on. I can just use one. And just like that. On this side, I'm just going to use one of those holes I already made and use a screw for a little more. So I'll have a little more grab to it. Install this. Pretty basic. I didn't plan that very well, did I? I'm lucky I didn't drill a damn hole in my kayak. Idiot. It's going to be moved. I'm going to reposition this because that was a damn saw it. I used the tracks and then that. And then I put a V cleat here so when the anchor's on it I can just slide it through there. That way I don't have any pressure on the anchor wizard itself because I want to protect whatever years are in here. I don't want to use the weight, have the weight of the anchor and my boat and everything else pulling on this. This is plastic and I, I'm sure it'll last but I'm going to use this to make sure it lasts. Because then when you want to pop out, you just pull it up, back in, you just do that. The way the anchor holds it down, I'm going to use the anchor trolley system. And that way I can move it fore and aft. I think it worked pretty good. I think it's going to work pretty good. Under here, I put some extra you know, gear track nuts under here in case I ever lose one. I'll have some hidden under there. Use them for washers. But that's it.